Okay, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about the symbol and the stock and the company, PLUG, Plug Power. Uh, this morning, they had some news that said that they're going to have to restate several years of earnings. And so we have no idea what that looks like. So question would be, is it a buy now? Is it a sell if you own it? Should you maybe hold it for the longer term or maybe should you trade it? Uh, let's take a look at the stock in all time frames. As I so often tell you guys to do, the larger picture governs, helps to govern some of your overall actions. However, if you are a day trader, maybe a swing trader, position trader, you know, you need to keep drilling down into the smaller time frames. But let's take a look at the overall larger time frame. It is uh, the monthly chart, as you can see here. Just make this a little bit bigger. You see, we've had a run in plug power from roughly just under four dollars to seventy-five dollars, and then now we're having you know a big giant reversal pattern printed. We're having some consolidation, and, and we currently sit at thirty-five dollars right here, and uh, about eighteen cents. So I'm going to try to make this video as quickly as possible to get this information out to you. So if we look at the weekly chart we can see uh, another run here that began pretty much at about $20 a share and ran to 75. Once it broke out right here on the weekly, if we run some retracement numbers, and I like to run a 70% retracement, uh, and we'll use 20 as, uh, we'll, use, we'll use 19 as the example, 19, we'll call it 75.50. 75.50 minus 19 is 56 dollar and 50 cent run and I times that by 70 percent I get 39.55 I want to subtract that from 75.50 to start to to give me a number so on the weekly 70 percent retracement from 19 dollars to 75.50 the 70 percent retracement gives me at 35.95 and we're just under that figure now so it makes me feel a little bit better about an entry point. But let's take a look at the daily. Uh, before we get to the daily, let's look at the weekly still. So we have this uh, three, four, five down weeks so far out of six. And uh, so when we look at the daily, we can take another look at a, a different part of the run and we can take it from right here $30 roughly to 75.90 75.50 that is minus $30 is 45.50 times 70% it's 31.85 that I want to remove from 75.50 and that's 43.65 and of course we're at low 35 so we're nearing a a we've got a bit of a a shoulder here on the daily daily chart right here then we got this big giant head and then we making another shoulder. So here's the neckline. What we wanna be careful with is it doesn't break through that $30 mark. What I would uh, be doing in this instance is uh, if I own it, not sure that I would continue to hold it because I don't know what the news is going to say. If I, uh, should I buy it? If I'm buying it, I personally would only be trading it and that's what I've done when I bought it this morning at uh, high 33. So trade well, uh, trade carefully and figure out you know, where the entry and exit points are. You can stay tuned towards the end. I've got some more information to help traders trade better.